With the summer update having been out for almost a week, the data miners have obviously been trying to get as much information as they can from it. And I thank them every time they post because my little Animal Crossing heart gets excited and then rightfully disappointed when I realise these things probably aren't happening for months. But I digress. Let's dive in. Get it? Because it's the summer update? I'm not stopping this joke until I can hear you all laugh. To what they have found out. I just want to say all of this information comes from Ninji and NWplayer123 on Twitter. Thank you for your service. The first major thing to talk about is more Dream Suite references have been found. If you weren't aware, previously Ninji had mentioned why they thought the Dream Suite would be returning based on what they had found in the code. However, now NWplayer123 has shown that Luna specifically has been mentioned in the code, which is extremely exciting because this will hopefully all but confirm the return of the much beloved Dream Suite. If you don't know what the Dream Suite is, by the way, it was a feature in New Leaf that allowed you to visit other people's towns without them having to be online, providing the person had set up their town in their Dream Suite. It was a really cool feature that I have spoken about previously in my Missing Features video if you want to go check that out. The fact Luna has been mentioned by name and more references have been found is a good sign it could be coming soon. Maybe an August update? Please Nintendo? The next big thing is more of an update into the progress that's been made into save data backup. As you probably know, the game doesn't support Nintendo Online Cloud Save Data functionality, which is terrifying, but we've all accepted our fate by now. But Nintendo did say that later in the year we'd be able to recover data from the server if our consoles were lost, stolen, or broken. So hopefully this next bit will mean we'll get more information on this soon. Nintendo also said that save data transfers were not possible, but that a function specifically for Animal Crossing was planned for later this year. It's possible we've reached later this year. Both data miners revealed there is a string of text exclusively in Japanese which refers to a data transfer method. Luckily, I can speak some Japanese. Just a disclaimer, I am not claiming to be fluent in Japanese, but I believe this is pretty close to a translation as I could get. NW Player did attempt one as well, but I've just made some minor adjustments based on what I've read. It basically recognises there is a save data for the game on your Switch and asks if you want to move it to another console through a moving application. Where it says Yamete Oku and OK, I believe this is a text string for the user to say whether or not you want it to go ahead, like saying yes or no when you connect online at the airport. But this is pretty cool knowing something like this could be coming soon. One last kind of new thing is regarding the vegetable text Ninji found in April. If you didn't know about this, it was that a new plant type had been discovered with the name vegetables and there were six found. Tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, pumpkins, wheat and sugar. This was found in a loop for growing plants with a is this a vegetable text string. It was rather exciting. But if you also hadn't heard, Nintendo are beginning to cover their tracks and hide certain things in the code and vegetables is apparently one of them. We know there is a function to grow a vegetable and and pick it up, so hopefully this means there'll be a new feature surrounding these new things, like maybe a farming one or something. That would be really good for an autumnal update to fit in with the harvest season. Like I said, I get excited and then I have to wait what feels like forever for anything to arrive. There are a few other things that have changed in the update. Weather patterns have now been slightly updated. Here is Ninji's tweet about it, I'm not going to pretend I understand it, but I do understand this one which talks about a change to the light meteor showers where stars will appear all the way from 7pm until 4am regardless of any weather changes, which is a nice update. It's also mentioned that Sahara can sell multiple items at once now. I don't think this means that Sahara will now sell you multiple wallpapers or anything. She'll still sell one of each to you per visit, but it just means you won't have to reinitiate the conversation with her. If this kind of streamlining can be applied to other NPCs, that would be really appreciated, Nintendo. Finally, there have been some more adjustments to how visiting NPCs work. On screen is Ninji's diagram of the adjustments for your viewing pleasure. The gist is that they have adjusted it so you won't have to go weeks without seeing a certain visitor like it has been, each day of the week should have the chance of being someone you haven't seen yet. The exception being Wisp who can show up in the week as a bonus appearance despite having a set day, and Daisy May who will show up on Sundays as usual. Celeste is also an exception to the rule due to her being tied to meteor shower nights, she will show up if you have a meteor shower in the week and will pick a heavy one over a light one if you have multiple. KK Slider will also now show up on Sundays instead of Fridays when a bug off or fishing tourney takes place so that your Friday visit a slot isn't taken by him, which is nice that Nintendo thought about that. You can also have both Gulliver and Gullivar show up in the week, just not on consecutive days. Please make it so I never have a reason to say Gullivar again. I hope this video has been helpful, give it a like if it has, comment the thing you are most excited about being added to New Horizons down below, subscribe if you want to see more from me, follow my Twitter and Instagram to see what else I get up to, join my Discord if you haven't already, it's a wholesome time, links are in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!